Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, welcome everybody. We're all here live via Zoom um, for the special meeting of the Board of Supervisors. Um, before we get started, anyone who is logged on, are there any public comment? Is there any public comment, I should say? Okay. All right, let me just make sure I gave enough time for anybody to call in or, okay. Hearing and seeing none, um, the first item on the agenda is um, the revision to the Dawson Township Act 537 plan to, to add uh, Castle Valley um, booster station. Um, Jeffrey, um, this has been duly advertised for this public meeting. Do you wanna say anything regarding that? It has been duly advertised. The time period within which it's to be considered and for public comment is now over. I believe Steve Hartman from the Bucks County Water and Sewer Authority will give you a brief description of what's involved with the modification to the 537 plan. Steve? Okay. Um, we, the supervisors have been provided with this information, but if you want to touch on the highlights, please feel please feel free. Thank you, Mr. Hartman. Sure. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Um, so we have an existing uh, diversion booster station. Uh, it takes flows from uh, the Kings Plaza wastewater treatment plant area and pumps them over to Green Street. All these facilities are owned by Bucks County Water and Sewer Authority. And the, the planning is already in place actually for the booster station to be upgraded to the 480,000 gallons per day. The only difference here is DEP wanted this special study because the method of going about that increase in flow. Instead of uh, replacing the existing pumps at that station, we have to install a booster station approximately halfway between the pump station and where it discharges at the Green Street treatment plant. So really that's the, uh, the, the purpose here is to have um, this special study submitted to DEP and allow that booster station to progress. This is intended as a condition of getting planning module approval for the Doylestown Walk project, which we know is important to our residents. So that's one of the first steps that has to be accomplished. Okay, um, thank you for that summary, Mr. Hartman. Are there any questions regarding the proposed um, um, amendment to the 537 plan? Um, the, the only question I have regarding it, um, since it's right in the area of the next phase of work for our, our sewer plan for the 10 year section, um, will this booster station be adequate for that section or will our upgrades plan for that in the future uh, when we address that area? Good question, Dan. Uh, actually, this booster station is going to be totally separate from anything that happens in that area. Um, obviously, that in that area, I, I believe everyone refers to it as the phase two study area and then the phase three being next to it. Um, there's a couple options still in play there. Um, the, the most cost effective seems to be individual low pressure systems that would serve all of those houses. And essentially they all act as their own pump station and would pump them to the ultimate discharge rather than having to go through this booster station or any other pump station. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Absolutely. We, um, I'm sorry, are you done, um, Dan? Yep. We, we, we have a memo that looks to be a, a recap of what happened to the planning commission. And it says that the bo booster pump would be underground and would comply with zoning and will assist the Pebble Ridge, Ridge Wood Ridge and proposed Doylestown walk developments. So it's not going to be af affecting the, the Wood Ridge, Pebble Ridge sewer area, Mr. Hartman? Um, well, it, it would be diverting flows, but um, it would be diverting flows. It, it could include some of those flows, but the Pebble Ridge area already has okay. approval. So that's already has its splits between. All right. I'll ignore that memo reference then. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they were indicating that this booster pump helps with that, those um, areas. That's what the planning commission was uh, yeah, it, referring it says to. Assist. Yeah, it says yeah. assist both Woodridge mm -hmm. and Doylestown Walk developments, mm -hmm. but it's really meant for Doylestown Walk, basically. Correct. That's right. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. Any other questions? I have a question. I, I'm just concerned a little bit about um, the neighborhood that the station's going into. Salomon Road is a really narrow road. And um, just for the people that live along there, um, what type of um, 
issues do you expect as far as people getting around the construction and um, what are you planning on doing to mitigate it? Well, most of the construction, uh, the uh, Bucks County Water and Sewer Authority already obtained an easement off to the side of the road in a wooded area. It will require some uh, tree removal. Uh, basically, we'd be, um, and we, we still have to submit this all to the township for um, zoning approval and such, but uh, we would tuck it back into those existing trees there so it wouldn't be uh, create too much of an uh, eyesight issue. Um, really, the only above ground feature is um, the, the vault that's going to house the pumps is going to be at grade and below grade. So it's really, you just see the uh, rectangular top of a concrete uh, pad, more, so to speak. Uh, some control panels and a um, um, electric uh, transformer. Uh, again, be, it would be pushed back into that wooded area and off the road. During construction, uh, they would have to install a pipeline out to the existing force main that is basically in the center line of the road. Um, but that would only be um, some minor uh, traffic uh, detours during the work, uh, you know, uh, reduce it to one lane uh, with some flaggers while they make that connection. Uh, most of the work should be off to the side of the road and should not impact traffic. Right, and any, any equipment that you would need would be parked at Saruman at the, in the parking lot for the most part? We would have to work those details out. Um, normally we leave it up to the, we, we provide a certain amount of space for the contractor and any additional space that they need, they would have to uh, work out. Um, it might be something that they come and try to rent, um, rent that uh, temporarily um, from the park, from the township. Okay. All right, thank you. Store everything to uh, pre-existing conditions, of course, after everything's done. Great, thank you. You might have said this, but what is your time, uh, start time, end time estimate? So a lot of that depends on getting this um, special study into DEP and having their review. Okay. Uh, we had milestones in the special study and we were conservative. Uh, basically, the path that it's on now is everything would be done before June of 2022. But that, again, that's a conservative. So the plan is to be done ahead of that. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Any questions? Any further questions? Motion would be to approve resolution 2304. All right. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2304 amending the Dawson Township um, Act 537 plan to include this Castle Valley Diversion Booster Station. I'll make, I'll make a motion to approve. I'll motion, second. Ryan, second, Dan, all in favor of the motion. Aye. 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 That's five and oh, thank you. And then um, moving on to the Doylestown Walk Land Development Pump and Hall Agreement. We received the, you know, an outline of that and it's particularly the letter of um, May 18, 2021 from Ebert Engineering to Mr. James Napoleon. Um, go ahead, Jeff, you want to comment on any of it? I was going to say is that one of the elements that was, it's kind of, uh, we're trying to put all the balls in one box here because Toll Brothers for the Doylestown Walk development needs to get the closing in June. Um, and DEP is requiring certain things be done before modules are approved. And one of the things that DEP is prepared to do is actually permit a pump and haul agreement that lets Toll Brothers start with building homes and selling homes, knowing full well that the effluent will be transported from the Doylestown Walk project to Green Street for treatment. Um, the authority approved the pump and haul uh, and I think that all the engineers are on board and your action would only be to approve the pump and haul and authorize you to sign it once DEP approves its content. Okay. Any questions about this um, proposed agreement for pump and haul? The, or, the only uh, question I have is um, towards Stephanie. So with this timeline, we're looking at Doyle Sound Walk starting construction in June. Is that correct? Um, I believe uh, that is their goal um, to start in in June. Okay. Which you know, of course, helps the residents in the Pebble Ridge Woodridge neighborhood and everything all kind of packaged together. Any other questions? 
I do have one, if you don't mind, um, the last paragraph on the letter dated May 18th, it, it's, it indicates that the township and not the authority is to be listed as the permittee. Permit, permittee. Who, why, why is that? I just would like to understand that one. Greg, do you want to answer the question? Sure, good morning. And again, thank you everyone for getting together today. Uh, DEP requires the township to be the sponsor for all pump and oil okay. applications. So that, 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 that explains that one. Yeah. Thank you. The I understand. Township has, township has no responsibility for any of this, except if they don't do it correctly, you have enforcement rights, but the cost liability and anything else related to it is all on somebody else besides the township. Correct. Great. All right, thank you for that explanation. Any other questions? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the Dawestown Walk Land Development Pump and Hall Agreement? I'll make the motion to approve the uh, Dawestown Walk uh, improvement. Okay, uh, is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Um, before we leave this and adjourn, um, I, the Stephanie gave us a memo that I'm going back to the sewage plan, Act 37, 537 Castle Valley thing. From the Planning Commission, one of the things that the Planning Commission recommends is that we waive any land development that will be needed for the proposed booster station at Salmon Park. Um, we did not pass on that. That is a future consideration. So I just wanted to clarify that. If, if you saw it in the memo, it's not part of what we did today. And then if, if and when we consider land development waivers, that will be in the future. Am I correct on that, Jeffrey? Yes. Okay. Anything else? Anybody for the good of the order, as they say? Have a nice weekend, including those of you that are out of state. Yeah, be safe, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday. And Happy uh, Memorial so Day. Yeah. Happy Memorial Day. And yeah, and thanks for um, the special meeting and getting it done so quickly. I appreciate uh, that. And now we can, you. these, these um, entities can move on with their plans. Thank Everybody you. have a great Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.